all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen of the boxing jury, I am here to make my opening statements regarding a simple fact, that Jaron Boots Ennis is the best prospect in the world. He pleads guilty. The Philly-born native is only 24 years old and has a pile of evidence, witnesses, and media outlets saying the same thing. Ennis began his pro career in 2016. In the five years since then, he stands at an unblemished 28 wins with a staggering 26 knockouts. He has completely laid waste to his counterparts. The last time an opponent went the distance with him was back in 2017, and that was a six round fight, and Ennis walked away with a shutout on the scorecards. No fighter has been able to get past six rounds with the subject. Boots himself under oath predicts he will have his first world title within the year. And why not believe him? His last two cases were his best yet. He knocked out Thomas Delorme, a former world title challenger, in the first round, and became the first person to knock out former world champion, Sergei Lipinets. Beating those kinds of talents in that fashion should make everyone shake in the witness stand. But how does he further prove he's the best? I'll tell you. In Ennis's mind, the ideal route would be a matchup with the current unified champion, Errol Spence Jr. But that fight is too far in the distance since he's trying to grab one more strap against WBA super champion, your Dennis Ugas, reportedly sometime in April. However, Ennis is already getting noticed by the kingpins of the division. Spence himself openly acknowledged that Boots should be considered one of the best in the weight class. The only objection one could have about Ennis being the best prospect in boxing goes by the name Virgil Ortiz Jr. But luckily, they both fight at welterweight. Ortiz is eerily similar to Ennis as he has an 18-0 record with 18 knockouts. Yeah, that's right, this man has knocked out every fighter he has met. Now, there is already summons for Ortiz to appear before Michael McKinson in March. But again, this plays perfectly into Ennis' plan for 2022 because if Ortiz wins, it makes that fight that much bigger. This would be a fight of the year worthy matchup. These two are some of the most powerful in the sport. They wouldn't even need a ring for this fight. They could do it in a phone booth. Ennis has the advantage though. He is more experienced, he is older, carries a longer reach, and he is more defensively sound. That fight would provide indisputable evidence for the subject. It's up to the boxing officials to make that happen this year. The fact of the matter is, this case will be wrapped up by the end of the year. He is a young, eager, hungry fighter with a stockpile of evidence to prove he deserves a shot at whoever else thinks they're the best. Because as of right now, no one has proven they can handle the subject. Current champions and contenders will eventually have to take the stand and provide testimony to why Jaron Boots Ennis is not guilty of being the number one prospect in boxing. And to them, I say good luck with that.